Hi there, my name is Juliet, and I'm the content manager here at Aletheia AI. Today, I'm so excited to introduce that Iterations is now live. So for level three personality pods, you'll be able to go in and um, click train on whatever personality pod you're going to focus on today. Then you're going to see all of your personality Legos live here. You'll see name, voice, filters, appearance, occupation, primary drive, identity, habits, And you'll also see Psyche, Lore, and here we have Iterations is now available. So they're, like I said, they're available for level three INFTs and five iterations are available per hour. So it's important to remember that the pods learn from each data set you provide. So let's go in and look at what a data set looks like. I'm going to have to interact with the pod and train it in order to create one of these data sets. So I'll click here, Iterate. And I'll click begin. Hi, what can you tell me about yourself? There we go, just allow that. Hi, Jamie, can you tell me about being an entrepreneur? Yes, I'm building a startup company called VMail. We sell VMware products. What do VMware products do? Where we manufacture and market, we do product research, development, sales, marketing and customer service for our customers. Are you passionate about your job? Yes, I love what I do, but I hate the same thing having nothing to say. What's your favorite thing to do on the weekends? Go shopping. I have quite a big collection of clothes. <laughs> What's your favorite novel to read? Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. R. Tolkien. Nice selection. I prefer Tolkien. His imagination and insights are fantastic. So now I have had an interaction with it and I'm now able to edit this data set to look more according to what I want. So for example, I ask at this point, what, what do the products do? And they answer where we manufacture and market. We do product research, development, sales, marketing, and customer service for our customers. I want to change this instead to we care about bringing technology to the people. We want to put... AI in the hands of everyone. I have a little RFCon vision there. So after that, I'll just simply click update the data set. So it finishes here. And after that, this iteration will appear under my iteration count. Now, it's important to remember that creating a personality is all about finding a marriage between your iterations and the personality Legos. So if you aren't happy with the way that your personality is appearing, you may want to go back and change some of your personality Legos. For example, here um, under primary drive, I'm aware that Jamie is an entrepreneur and that's why I asked Jamie a little bit about that, but perhaps I want to change their primary drive to be a bit more focused on um, being social or making friends. Um, and so I want that to be a greater part of their personality. So I would go back and edit that personality Lego. But all the iterations are available here. And keep in mind that every time you iterate, the system saves it and you can go back and edit the data set. This is the backbone of how you build your personality. Now, this is a continuous process, an ongoing activity that you can return to, so there's no rush. And the more information that you input around your characters, the better and more sophisticated that your personality will be. You can also go back and watch any of Sarah's master classes. Specifically, there was a master class most recently on iterations, so that will also help provide you with some insight. Thank you, and we're so looking forward to seeing the personalities that you create.